Good morning, fam. It is a beautiful day here in Indiana. And that sounds like my buddy and his and his new 12 valve. <laughs> oh, there he is. Get this truck fired up. Take it out of reverse and let off the clutch and go flying back. I should have got an epic thumbnail. My buddy Jesho, we pulled just off of my road and immediately, you know, it's kind of funny, there's three Cummins going down the road at the same time within like 100 feet of each other. I pulled out, my buddy Jeshua, he pulled out, and then my neighbor with the third gen Cummins, he pulled right up behind us, and it was just all in a line going down the road, just black smoke everywhere, it's kind of fun. Then I pull out onto the road and I accelerate off, and then I see him in the mirror, like spin off to the side, then just stop. And then a car like swerve out of the way, and I'm just like, what is going on? So, he's right behind me. But anyway, so he stopped and then my neighbor pulled up and he's an older guy and he's like, oh, his, his go pedal stopped working. Yeah, his, his, you know, our neighbor Randy, we all call his, we always call him name, neighbor Randy. He's like, yeah, his go go juice kicked off. It's not working anymore. And I'm like, okay, it's probably his throttle linkage just came undone. I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll check it out. So we go over there and just, it's just something that needed clipped back on. Um, so we got that clipped back on, and then he's good to go. He's, he's rolling again. So should have got a should have got a thumbnail though with the hood popped on the side of the road with traffic driving by like stranded. You know what I mean? And by the way, real quick, don't forget we have the ATV or five thousand dollar cash giveaway live. So if you go down to the link in the description to my merch site, every twenty five dollars you spend gets you another entry closer to running. We have limited time hoodies, almost sold out. We have some other t-shirts that we have that we say we have on the store, but they're also very limited inventory, so when they're gone, they're gone. Go enter, don't miss out. And just rolling with my buddy Jeshua. We are just bobbing out here. We're just rolling around. These freaking 12 hours, bro. Everybody's giving us dirty looks because they puff black smoke when you get on them and accelerating, merging into lanes and crap. I love it, man. I don't, oh, look at that. We're gonna just rolling cold. <laughs> People give you the dirtiest looks around here if you roll cold, but I don't care, man. I love these old trucks. I don't care what anybody thinks. They're just so sick. I love them. I bet he's going to roll them. <laughs> love that 12 out. How often can you see four first shins in one spot? Not very. <laughs> man, just look Check at them. I need to get mine a chrome grill. We got a match. We got the original. This white one's here. White first gen we picked up last year. We got the two wheel drive truck, which is about to get a lot of work done. We got the new Colorado Red 5 speed we call Big Red. Then we got Jeshua's new truck. Can't keep it clean on this driveway. <laughs> I know. When you have a oh, mile long we gotta tell them of... about what happened, bro. Cause you got stranded oh, yeah. for a minute there. Stranded on the road. Stranded, right? Like it was actually a little bit sketched though, because yeah. like you pulled out and there's a car coming uh -huh. from the other direction. Which ordinarily, if you have your throttle, yeah. you're fine. But when you don't have throttle, it's not fine. I, so yeah, <laughs> I pulled out and this car is like hauling booty towards me and just goes around me and I'm like. I looked in my Throttle mirror. I'm like, the floor, not moving. And when I looked in my mirror, I was like, "Did this dude seriously just pull straight out in front of this car?" Because that's all I saw. <laughs> yeah. All I saw was a car fly past, and I'm thinking, like, "Did you just pull straight out in front, in front of somebody, and they almost hit you?" And then I'm thinking, like, and then you were just pulled over on the side of the road. I'm like, "No, something's wrong." You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'm like, "Yeah." So then my neighbor, I told him, neighbor Randy came over, and he's like, "His go go juice stopped working. His pedal you, stopped working." I'll show you what happened. Yeah, I was gonna say, show him what happened. So I'm pushing my gas pedal and it's just moving with the dimension. I'm like, well, that's not good. This right there, just this ball like right here just popped right off the top of that ball that hooks it onto your throttle linkage. Yeah, it kind of like it snaps it on, but it somehow it must have wiggled off or vibrated off or something, but. Yeah, we didn't get a thumbnail, so I was like, shoot, both the trucks are like pulled over with the hazards on. I'm like, yeah. this would have been perfect. Yeah. But yeah, so, you know, it was one of those things where just kind of sucked at the moment and then we're like what the heck happened I'm like yeah it's on these trucks it's always something stupid because like you can see there's so much space you can yeah. see what's wrong pretty yeah. quick so 
that's that's the nice thing about buying a 12 out. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I was like, so, I was like, it, ha it was too good to be true. Well, everybody, the day was going great. Just loaded up the four wheeler, had my cousin. I was gonna take him back home and kind of hang out in Ohio for a little bit. And going down the highway in Big Red, the new Red First Gen, and something I've never had happen before happen. All of the tread unraveled off of one of the front tires and just trashed the front fender on this truck. 30 minutes away from home, on my way. Could have been further, but still sucks. But, um, so I'll show you the damage here. It's terrible. Yeah, just lovely. Freaking dry rotted junk tires unraveled and completely dented the mess out of that. Fractured all this up in here. Trash that. Dented in the rocker all the way underneath, back over there. I haven't looked around the truck really any further, but I see a, the emergency brake cable hanging down there. That also, just wonderful, just what I needed right now. <sighs> sucks. Just really sucks. Okay, so hours have gone by and we are now in the King Ranch. And if you see this video, Dad, I'm sorry. I've been trying to get a hold of you, but I know he's, he's at work, he's doing stuff. He's been the most busy hours of the day, of course, when I'm trying to get a hold of him. So it's his most packed hours and schedule. But um, I had to take the King Ranch because not necessarily wanting to put miles on the white first gen of his um, and my phone doesn't charge in there my phone has all kinds of issues it doesn't charge unless it's a certain type of outlet and just weird stuff so I couldn't charge my phone my phone's dead and after that freak accident with the freaking other first gen and the tire unraveling and flying off I didn't want to you know take my phone dead in that truck and just be like assume that it's gonna be fine and something else crazy happens again and not be able to call anybody or you know, get AAA to show up or something. So, took the King Ranch. Um, yeah, it sucks. But even though it sucks, and it's probably going to cost me about a thousand bucks to fix that panel. Which, by the way, there's an ATV or five thousand dollar cash gi giveaway going live right now. If you guys want to buy some merch, so I could pay this bill to fix this thing. Anyways, it's it's a shame that a truck that was kept in such great shape. I mean, yeah, it had a new paint job, but it was kept and not rusted out and not dented up shape for 28 years. Just gets trashed because of a freaking dry rotted tire that was left on the thing, and then the tread just was so warbly it just unraveled and just trashed the freaking fender like of all things like that be the thing to screw that thing up from being like the original body and paint like a body and panels and stuff you know what i mean but um i guess the way you have to look at it is yes it sucks yes it's going to be like a thousand bucks give or take to replace that panel and get it repainted and make sure everything is good to go and perfect again but on the bright side i'm still here to vlog another day and there wasn't like a semi next to us when it unraveled and I lost control of steering and we got smashed or something, you know what I mean? Like, or you know, my cousin who's with me, I'm taking him home. Like, nothing, nothing bad happened where somebody couldn't go home, you know what I mean? So, as much as it sucks, it's just a truck, it's just money, you know, out of your pocket to get something fixed, but it's not a life, you know. So, that's what you got to look at is everybody's okay at the end of the day. I would like to say hopefully you enjoyed the video, but it wasn't too enjoyable for me to make. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, I guess. And uh, if you guys could participate in the giveaway, it really, I mean, I keep saying this, but I think people think that I'm kidding. There's really not a lot of people in this giveaway. Like it's, it's actually quite, nerve-wracking on my end but um, it's it's I mean if you don't enter don't don't enter just because I'm doing a giveaway you know what I mean um, but if you are on the fence of wanting to enter you're not sure if you should or not dude you get cool t-shirts you get cool stuff and the way we're doing it now everybody gets their stuff shipped out within a day or two tops okay the previous giveaway was hectic the last week we outsold because of inventory it was all weird in the system I was still learning the store we outsold more than we had and then we're like back ordering stuff it was it was chaotic but everything from that giveaways out everything shipped to people and for this giveaway we are it, it is like we have it nailed down to where if you order stuff you get it like in a couple days after ordering 
Like it's it's really quick now, so we're really we're really happy about that. Um, so if you guys want to enter, please do. And uh, lots of, lots of cool stuff up there, but it's 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 limited inventory this time. So when it sells out, it sells out. Every twenty five dollars you spend gets you another entry closer to winning either a brand new twenty eighteen Can Am or five thousand dollars cash. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Join the team. Join the family. You never know what's going to happen. We could be buying a truck and the next day it's just getting trashed because of a dry rotted tire, or we could be building something or something cool. You never know what's going to happen. So, anyways, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Peace. Oh, 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 oh.